And I was informed just a little while ago that uh, those tests do in fact confirm that I have tested positive for the HIV virus. Three pills in the morning, uh, Viramune, Trisavir, which is HIV medications, and the Bactrin, which is a, a, uh, it's an antibiotic that uh, supposedly fights any type of infections that you may come down with. In the evening, I take the two of the Viramune and the Trisavir again, along with uh, uh, just a multivitamin. And that's pretty much it. I think it's uh, 8.30 in the morning and 8.30 in the evening. And uh, that's it. Pretty simple. Five years ago, Tommy Morrison would have refused to have taken those pills. Back then, he was an HIV boxer who paid no attention to his blood work. Any T cell count under 200 is considered AIDS, and Tommy's was just three. At that time, his willingness to take medication was zero. I don't even like to take an aspirin if I can keep from it. You know, uh, I'll smoke a cigar, but I won't take an aspirin. <laughs> In the ring, Morrison was most famous for defeating George Foreman in a 1993 WBO heavyweight title fight and for his role as Tommy Gunn in Rocky V. He was also in line to be Mike Tyson's first opponent out of prison in 1996, but in February of that year, the positive test for HIV ended that career. Ever since 1996, uh, when I made that announcement, it's like things you know, started going on, on a spiral down. You know, it's like one thing after another. It's like, you know, the more... Uh, the more I tried to seclude myself from, from society, the more it pursued me. You know, I couldn't walk outside and, you know, spit in my, in my front yard without getting in trouble. And an angry Morrison did get into some real trouble, and he was convicted in January 2000 for gun and cocaine possession. In jail, Tommy still refused to take medication until eventually he was convinced to do so by his ex-wife, Dawn Gilbert, who drove 300 miles every weekend to visit him. After three months in, you know, on my on my ass about it all the time, I finally agreed to it. But I told him, you know, if there's, you know, if I have just the slightest hint of a side effect of any kind, that's it. I'm not going to do it. It made me worry quite a bit because, uh, you know, he had he had lost weight. You know, I was very concerned about losing him. Once I uh, finally come around, got myself you know, leveled out of my head again, started eating everything, then, you know, started gaining weight and, and uh, you know, been going strong ever since. Morrison and Gilbert remarried after his release in 2001 and thanks to an experimental treatment in America, have just learned that they're soon to be having their first baby. Can you see it? Yeah. It's going to be an extraordinary thing for me. It's changed my life already. It's something that seemed so far out of reach, you know, two years ago, and now it's fixing to happen, you know, another six months. What's also changed is his willingness to see a doctor every other month, and according to his physician, Tommy's latest blood work shows a T-cell count of 371 and no trace of the virus. He lifts weights every day, and he looks a lot like he did in Rocky V. I think if it was up to him, he probably wouldn't take it, but he puts his family's needs before his own, and... I think he, the majority of the reason he does this for us and to keep us from worrying about him. He doesn't want anyone to worry about him. A lot of people thought I was, you know, thought I wasn't here any longer, you know, and I was, yeah, I already passed away or whatever, and I'm a long ways from there.